Have a good day! Beast here and over the years when I've been live streaming here on YouTube I have received some of the greatest challenge ideas of all time such as when five years ago somebody asked me what it would take for me to consume this juice box of high sea ecto cooler which expired back in 1993 to drink it I said I would absolutely not do it because I spent $400 and I said if somebody could find me another example pay for it I would absolutely drink it uh, and that is when Noah Mobley Donated $400. I purchased the juice box on eBay. And as you can see from these photos, I was spewing neon green lime. Slime. And what you see here in front of me right here right now today is a DOS boot uh, in a boatload of Pop Rocks. Now, in my most recent live stream, it was suggested uh, from a, a guy or a girl named Familiar Smell. They said, I dare you and I challenge you to beat Matt Stoney's Pop Rocks record. Now for those of you who don't know, even though I don't know as well, Pop Rocks is a candy that when, when you put them in your mouth, that's what she said, they start crackling. Now, and some people are concerned that if you consume too many with your stomach acid, uh, that your stomach's going to explode. Uh, and I actually remember back in May of 2013, uh, I said I was going to do an Alka-Seltzer challenge and I received this message from my mother on my voicemail, which we could all listen to. Uh, right here, right now. Uh, I woke up this morning, I received a very interesting message from my mother, and I'd like to share it with everybody. Hi Kevin, I just was watching Dr. Oz, and the woman asked, can you make your stomach explode? He said, no, not from eating too much, because you'll throw up. He said, the way sometimes it can happen is if you have too much bicarbonate, like if you take Alka-Seltzer, and that gas gets in there too fast, and then it can explode. Just for your information, because you do extreme eating. Okay, bye. Next up, the Alka-Seltzer challenge. Stay tuned. So as I accepted Familiar Smells challenge to try and take on Matt Stoney's Pop Rocks challenge, I was definitely concerned heading into this. But after finalizing my research of whether or not consuming a boatload of Pop Rocks is safe or not, what I came to the conclusion is that it's pretty much, uh, you know what, you can drink a two liter bottle of soda. Uh, and that carbonation from a two liter bottle of soda is far worse than like any carbonation from the Pop Rocks that could like cause your stomach to expand or explode. Uh, and like the main thing here is the myth busted Pop Rocks will in fact not even come close to causing any major damage. But if you eat roughly 16.2 ounces of them, they may make you crap your pants. And all that I plan on doing on Tuesday, August 30th at 4.30 p.m. before I help my father-in-law move heavy things, I'm going to fill up this DOS boot with Pop Rocks, and I'm going to see if I can consume, uh, if not equally, if not more, Pop Rocks than Matt Stoney did. And after studying his video uh, like an absolute madman, now, I noticed that uh, it took Matt Stoney 29 minutes to consume just the top half uh, of the mountain part of his ginormous bull. Now, and during his 29 minutes of consuming Pop Rocks, um, as he was doing ASMR, it seemed like he was in pain. Uh, so, honestly, I really have not had Pop Rocks since I was a little kid, uh, if I had Pop Rocks whatsoever. So, this is a new, new experience for me, uh, and we we're going to find out together. Whether or not, as I help my father-in-law move, I hope I don't. I, I, I hope I don't collapse. You know we can do that over. Okay, we're gonna keep that. Now it took me roughly uh, 29 minutes to actually fill up this dust boot and open up 171 packets of Pop Rocks which were used 
Uh, each packet weighs 0.33 ounces times 171. There's a total of 56.43 ounces and or 3.572 pounds of Pop Rocks in that DOS boot. Uh, then you see I weighed the DOS boot, which is 2.813 pounds plus the 3.527. There's a total weight of the DOS boot and Pop Rocks of 6.34 pounds. Now, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I forgot to weigh the DOS boot with the Pop Rocks in it. Oh, excuse me. I just need to get my thumbnail photo. Uh, it took me about 30 minutes. Oh, there we go with the mouth. It took me about 30 minutes to fill up this entire glass. I already told you that. And one of the, one of these action shots that you're seeing right now is going to be my thumbnail photo. Without further ado, I am the LA Beast. And in this DOS boot, it's 171 packets of Pop Rocks. I believe uh, there is nine... Grams of sugar per packet times 171 is 1,539 grams of sugar. And you know what? Uh, I'm about to see whether or not I am on Matt Stoney's level. Uh, Most this is the DOS boot not. of Pop Rocks to see if scientifically I can humanly consume this many Pop Rocks without my stomach exploding. Boom, boom. Knock on wood. I got two cameras rolling. LA Beast. Have a good day. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Ah. <sighs> This is just, here we go. The camera's not in focus. Okay. Okay. Uh, honestly, my first initial thought uh, is that it kind of, it's like Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, I, I think they had Rice Krispie Treats cereal where like it's snap, crackle, and pop. It's like very sugary, but it's like Rice Krispies. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Oh my goodness. You know what? At least I'm going to have a sugar high helping my father-in-law move. It tastes like a Tootsie Roll. Pop. The outer shell of a Tootsie Roll. 100% cherry. I'm definitely getting this all over my favorite blanket, my Monsignor Thomas Wells blanket. All right, technically so far, I'm not feeling any pain. Uh, it seemed like Matt Stoney was feeling pain, uh, but Pop Rocks are getting stuck in my teeth. Do you like seafood? Sea food. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, it's like eating dum dums uh, or any other lollipop, Tootsie Rolls for that matter, then you're just actually eating the hard candy shell. It's like I'm eating a whole bunch of dum-dums.
I can understand maybe why uh, Matt Stoney felt the pain. I'm not quite sure if there's malic acid on this, but I feel like my tongue is starting to burn. Now, this can't be good. Well, let's get a close up of the tongue. Hey. Right. So far, not bad. Uh, so far, basic sugar high. So far, my stomach feels fine. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> it's a marathon, not a sprint, but you know what? Uh, uh, I have a headache. I have a sugar headache already. Now, I, feel, I feel no expansion. I feel no explosion incoming in my stomach. Uh, I just feel slightly nauseous from the, the amount of sugar that I'm consuming. <laughs> It was at this exact moment that I thought about giving up. And then I had no idea what I was thinking. And then pretty much, uh, I decided, you know what? I think I'm done. Fist raise. If I have to conclude, uh, what, what, like the further you get in, the more that you have uh, with these pop rocks, in my personal opinion, that it tastes like a stale pair of leather pants. Leather pants that are stale. Uh, I don't know if it's the sugar. Uh, if, I, if I'm going into a sugar overload here, probably yes. Uh, I'm gonna say right here, right now, uh, you know what? I give Matt Stoney credit where, where Matt Stoney's credit is due. Uh, he definitely consumed way more Pop Rocks than I did. Uh, but nonetheless, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pull out the scale here. I feel nauseous. I'm gonna pull out the scale here. Uh, okay. <sighs> So, so five, five, five point three seven nine, five point three seven nine pounds. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I know I forget what the original weight was. Maybe, maybe I just consumed a pound of pop rocks. And I think uh, to answer the age-old question of how many pop rocks or too many pop rocks, a pound. I don't know. I mean, I you know what? Uh, it's a it's a definitely difficult challenge for sure. Uh, Towards the end, yeah, when you like you put the pop rocks into your face, uh, they do actually pop. And like one time, like it hit me right in the something. So you know what? Uh, to Matt Stoney, I give Matt Stoney credit where Matt Stoney credit is due.
I don't feel well, and I'm going to go help my father-in-law move. And I'll keep you posted on how I, what goes on. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know how I just... Just made it to my father-in-law's. I have to help him move. I just think we're going to have to put the seat down. Whoa. Oh. I definitely... <laughs> Uh, the one thing I can definitely say is that um, it's like banana and Sprite challenge. I feel like something's brewing in my stomach. Uh, I'm sweating profusely. I don't know how I made it here. I almost had to pull over on the highway. Oh boy. <sighs> definitely uh, when it comes to consuming Pop Rocks, um, although I feel like my stomach is not going to explode. Just Something just isn't sitting well, so uh, you, uh, you know what? Okay, bye. I don't, I don't know what. Here I am. Hello, beast. Uh, just be careful of your pop rock intake. Have a good day. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Um, I moved a sewing machine. Hello, Have a good day. Just for the record, it's a few hours later, uh, and when I actually rinsed the Pop Rocks out of the DOS boot, you could see that it was like bubbling. Um, and that's exactly what's been happening in my stomach. Uh, I'm not quite sure if these are sugar-free Pop Rocks, but uh, I've definitely gone to the bathroom multiple times for the record. Uh, so interesting. I like I try and lay down on the couch and like I could feel that same rumbling in my stomach. Um, you know what? The, the great way to lose weight today since I didn't get on the elliptical or go for my eight-mile walk. So, heck yeah. About to go to bed just for the documented record. I've probably gone to the bathroom probably another four or five times since I last spoke. So I, I definitely know what, uh, although your stomach will not explode, it will definitely cleanse uh, your entire system. Pop rocks. Uh, amazing. Not really. Have a good day.